Hi, welcome to EMR News Television. I'm Kirsten Kloss. Thanks for watching. So on today's program, we're going to be talking about EMR platforms, and I've asked Dr. Tom Tyson to join us on the program. For two decades, he has been recognized leader in the health information technology industry. He is the CEO of Canadian Health Systems, a leading provider of EMRs, providing electronic medical records to over 5.3 million Canadians, and is also the president of the Apple Tree Medical Group, Canada's largest multi-specialty medical group. Dr. Tyson, thank you very much for joining us on the program today. It's great having you on board. Thanks very much, Kirsten. So uh, today we'll focus on this. Uh, it's a difficult decision that every major complex medical organization faces uh, to buy or build their own medical record system. Um, what's your general feeling about, about that issue? Just leading into the, the, to the questions here. You know, it's a critical issue and it's not well served by the industry. Um, any organization that has more than 10 facilities in the community or that has more than, you know, the range is about 50 to 70 providers, anything above that, they face the question, do you build or do you buy? And it's a bit of an artificial choice because on the one hand, the organization knows what its values, its mission, its strategy, its all of its stakeholders and they understand how to balance the different needs of the stakeholders, the patients, the providers, uh, the board or the shareholders, um, the insurers. I mean, there are many stakeholders in any sort of healthcare setting. And it's very important to balance different needs. And so when you implement any sort of system, you have to incorporate those values into the system or you're going to get a system implementation failure or at the very least, you will not get full value from the system. So the temptation is to say, well, let's build from our core values. On the other hand, there are EMR vendors that have tremendous experience in developing and implementing automation solutions and that understand the corner cases where things can go wrong. And so their, their experience is invaluable. But unfortunately, uh, most of these organizations, having built a platform, really want to get out there and sell that platform. And at this stage in the health information technology industry, that's just, in my opinion, that's a wrong-headed approach. Uh, you know, when you read that eight out of 10 major implementations end in failure, and then nine out of 10 are over budget or over time or both, you go, well, clearly there's been a failure then to understand the values uh, for which the system of automation, which is essentially what these systems do, is they automate workflow and connect people. Um, uh, put it this way, the, the approach that we recommend is to find a vendor that thinks of it more as a long-term partnership hmm. where the organization holds the values and the mission strategy and the vendor is there to support them in achieving their mission and does it in achievable steps. Hmm. So f let's say for hospitals and large groups, why is it so important to find an EMR vendor that embraces customization? Oh, you know, uh, it's critical. I can give you a really simple example. Um, Apple Tree Medical Group, we're a large group, 36 facilities. Uh, we developed Canada's first wait time tool system because part of our core mission is to reduce waits and improve access to health care. We do that through administrative efficiencies, saving the doctor time. When you start to create those efficiencies, you start to recognize the, the concurrent need to let the public know where those open spots are in real time. So we created a real time wait time tool that, you know, currently about, about 120,000 patients a month check it every month before going in for care. Now, another uh, group, which is also a client of Canadian Health Systems, many centers, also equally large group, very focused, great management. They took a look at the wait time tool and they said, well, you know, we have a different idea of how we want to use this. And so what we did is we said, you know what, let's do a custom build specifically for what you want, because they wanted to use it for uh, internal use. So uh, their object at the time was to develop um, a centralization for the purpose of improving quality in terms of handling phone calls and whatnot. They wanted to centralize and they saw this as an ideal tool to let their staff stay in the loop 
And, uh, and so, I mean, if you take one tool, the way different organizations use it is going to be different. And I really think it's important that you, uh, that you honor that because otherwise, uh, you know, no one has a monopoly on good ideas in healthcare, especially because whatever system you're using now, whatever problem you're solving now is not going to motivate once it's solved. You're going to identify new uses of the technology and you have to be prepared to evolve to meet those needs. Hmm. Well, obviously, it sounds like uh, it, 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 is, it is a standardized system with a lot of room for customization. Uh, so what's your advice for organizations seeking a better EMR? Uh, well, for specifically addressing larger groups, um, you need to find a vendor that is willing to partner with you and willing to sit down and really understand what it is that your organization is trying to accomplish because... Um, the electronic medical record component is really a tiny subset of what is truly an automated health system is what people are want to move towards. And you know, the health system is extremely complex. There's a lot of moving parts. I would say if there were three, three core attributes that I'd be looking for from looking for vendors, I want to know, number one, do they understand, like in their DNA, do they understand that mobility is an independent parameter? Features and functions within a system are one thing, but mobility is such a powerful parameter. You know, Kirsten, have you ever found yourself leaning back in your chair using your handheld smartphone in front of your computer? Even though your computer may have more functionality, the value of even that little bit of extra mobility is such that mm -hmm. you'd rather use your smartphone. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, um, the reality is, is that they have to be committed to mobility because patients are mobile, healthcare providers are mobile, staff are mobile, and if you have multiple facilities, that mobility forces you to think about connectivity. The second attribute, therefore, is connectivity. You have to understand that the systems that are being deployed today are at a level of complexity that is tiny compared to what they're going to be in five to ten years as more and more things are connected. You know, um, nobody anticipated in the 1990s the rise of smartphones. Uh, nobody in uh, the last decade really anticipated uh, the different ways in which wearables uh, were going to start to be used. And we don't, no one really knows how it's going to shake out. But we do know this there are going to be more and more things that patients and doctors and nurses and other healthcare providers are going to want to connect to other than just themselves. And so you need to commit to a vendor that has a strong understanding that. Ongoing connectivity is also a, is a key parameter. And uh, if they don't understand that, they think that the system that you're getting today is all you're going to need, you're already obsolete on the system. Mm. So obviously scalability of whatever you're implementing is of optimum importance um, in, in the equation. Well, Dr. Tyson, uh, some great, great facts, some great uh, suggestions uh, for our audience. Uh, I appreciate your time today in, in explaining the EMR platform, uh, uh, the general realm of, of, of that whole space. Thanks for joining us. Uh, thanks, Kirsten. Our guest today, Dr. Tom Tyson. Uh, you can check out their website, Canadian Health Systems Inc., um, on the screen. And uh, if there's more information on, uh, on the systems and options, uh, that's chsinc.ca. I'm Kristen Kloss. You're watching EMR News Television. Thank you all for watching. Bye for now.